morning friends happy sunday it is 9 a.m i kind of have i don't know if it's a busy day but i have a lot of things to do today i guess but we're starting off the day with a little breakfast date which is my favorite way to start the day i just arrived at a cafe and i'm meeting my friend beck here so i'm gonna head in but welcome back to another vlog guys it's now 1 p.m i was at breakfast till like 12 chatting away as you do so good to catch up with beck I fell asleep at like 8.30 p.m. last night because my life there's a lot that went on yesterday, but I fell asleep at 8.30, not intentionally, and so I didn't charge my phone last night. So we're gonna try and get some, some charge on that one. This is what I'm dealing with right now. I have a mixture of things to unpack and also just like clean clothes to put away. But I thought I would like chat to you guys a little bit about what, what I've been up to this week. I wanted to film a weekly vlog this week and it literally just didn't happen. <sighs> Not really for any specific reason why, apart from, I don't know, it was just like a chaotic, crazy week. But I also want to talk about my week because it was a really fun week and I like did get clips. So I thought I'll just like give you guys a bit of a life update, running you through what I got up to while I fold my laundry. And I can kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. So I started off the week in Byron. We came home on Monday, got home like Monday afternoon and I kind of just, you know, got home, unpacked, cleaned up, got myself ready for the week ahead, had dinner and then went to sleep. Tuesday, I was at my computer all day because Monday is usually like my biggest work day. Right now I'm unpacking my bag that I took away the other day, which I will get to in a second. Tuesday I was just catching up on all the work that I missed out on on Monday. And same with Wednesday. Tuesday was spent doing the weekly vlog for last week and then Wednesday was spent doing my Thursday video. How cute is this little bag? It is from, it doesn't say, oh it does. Lillian, the label. I'll try and link it down below if I remember. It is just so freaking cute and I, I'm assuming she has quite a few other ones. I got it as a gift and look at this cute little tag. You are loved. So cute. On Wednesday, I also got my nails done. This is not that interesting, but I went with an actual fun color for once in my life. And I got this like Barbie pink and I love it. It's really fun. We'll see if I get sick of it, but so far it's been half a week and I'm loving it. <laughs> and then Thursday was a really busy day. I started off the day with breakfast with my friend Kate, which was so nice to catch up with her. I hadn't seen her in a little bit. And we just like chatted for hours as you do. And then I headed off to the shops because I had like a couple hours to kill. Well, like probably like an hour before I had to go to an event. And so I kind of just like walked around the shops for a bit because I didn't have enough time to like go home and then come back in between. And then I went to a lunch event with Kida Skin and it was honestly so cool. I don't go to events very often, pretty much never, but it's a new skincare company. They only have one product so far, but it is honestly really intriguing. I have used it a few times since the event because they gifted us all their product. It's a gel exfoliator. I'll show you guys. Like I said, I've just started using it and I've only been using it for a few days so I really can't attest to how much I like it yet because I just haven't had enough time. However, hearing the owners talk about it was super, super interesting. I'll try and link them down below as well if you want to check it out for yourselves but the ingredients are all amazing. The product is made in Japan. The owners are like a couple who are in their 20s which is really cool like seeing young people just like create businesses that are so inspiring and they both have Japanese heritage and then they've infused Japanese ingredients like cherry blossom, wasabi and I think something else which I can't remember right now into this product and it's just so cool to hear about stuff like that and I personally love meeting owners of companies because I feel like no one can better market a product than the people who literally designed it and I love knowing like behind the scenes of a business and a product and things like that and so being able to like literally sit across the table at this lunch event from the owners and be able to ask them so many questions about it was just really great and so I really enjoyed that lunchtime event and I also got to catch up with a lot of my friends who I don't get to see very often because they were all invited which again was just so fun and my manager who lives in Sydney was also at the event and it was really nice to catch up with her because I don't get to see her that often because obviously she lives in Sydney and she is a busy lady. And then after the lunch event, it finished at like 3.30. A few of the girls were like, oh, we kind of want to like still hang out. So do you guys want to go next door to Mr. Percival's, which is just like a bar kind of thing <laughs> and get some drinks and some food. And obviously I was like, eh, yeah, I don't get to see these people very often. And I also had made some new friends, which was really, really fun. I also got to meet Ari from Love Island. She was at the event and then she came out for drinks afterwards and I was sitting next to her and I was talking to her about Love Island and she told me so many behind the scenes things. It was so interesting. And you guys know I'm a huge Love Island fan and I watched her entire season of Love Island Australia. And so it was just really cool. I literally went over and I was like, hey, 
this is really weird, but like loved your Love Island season. But also if you don't want to talk about it or if that's like really annoying, then like I won't be offended if you don't want to talk about it. And she's like, no, like I, I love talking about it. So that was super cool. And she was so lovely. It was a fun time. She was just literally so funny. That's another thing. The show did her so dirty in terms of like how funny she is. They did not portray that side of her much at all. And she's just so funny. So yeah, just hung out with some people from my management and it was just like a really nice afternoon. But by the time I got home, it was 8.30 p.m. I don't even know how that happened. It was one of those days where I left the house at I think 7 a.m. and I got home at 8.30. And I was just like, what the heck has happened today? Like, this was not what the plan was. I was supposed to get home at like 4 p.m. but it was a really good time. And then Friday, I think I honestly was just working again. So the first half of the day was spent at my computer and then I went and picked up my mom and we drove to the Gold Coast because we were staying overnight there and we had a bit of a girls night. We got some fish and chips for dinner. We just hung out. We watched Mamma Mia, which was so fun. And then we went to bed because the next day on Saturday, we had to wake up at 3 45 a.m. which was kind of rough it didn't feel rough at the time like I got up and like got ready and it was fine but it was like rough later in the day when I crashed but we got up hopped on a bus and we went hot air ballooning and guys it was such an incredible experience like I was really looking forward to it but I just was so blown away by how amazing it was and I could not recommend it enough. We did it for my mum's birthday. This is not sponsored or anything like that. I feel like it sounds like a sponsorship because I'm so excited about it. But last year for my mum's birthday, we bought her like a hot air ballooning voucher from Adrenaline. So we went through Adrenaline, 100% recommend them. It was all so smooth, so easy. Loved our experience with them and I would 100% book another experience with them. I'll link them down below as well. I try and always link everything that I mention. If it's like something that I can link, I will try and link it. We got to see them like set up the balloon and there were two balloons that went up at the same time as us, so like our balloon and then another balloon. Both the same company, but like two different groups of people, I guess. And the other group of people was at a wedding party. So it was a bride and a groom, and they were literally getting married on the hot air balloon, which was so freaking cool. The bride had this like beautiful, like white suit on. She looked so chic and like so elegant, but obviously like probably can't do a wedding dress in a hot air balloon. Like it's probably not the most practical thing but she looked stunning. And obviously that was just like the cutest thing ever. And they had a photographer and a celebrant and stuff all on their hot air balloon. I don't know, it was just so cool. And the actual experience of the hot air balloon was just amazing. I felt so safe. Like there was not one point where I felt like nervous or like unsafe. It didn't like move or rock or anything like that. It was just like so peaceful and so calm. And when we were like lifting off the ground, like I was like looking over the edge, watching as the ground kind of got further and further away. And I was genuinely like, this is probably what it feels like to fly like if, if we had superpowers and we could fly because I was like looking over the side of the basket and I couldn't even see the basket I could just like see the ground and like see the view it just felt like I was floating in midair and it was just the coolest experience ever and it's quite like slow and peaceful so it doesn't ever feel scary at least that's how I felt it was amazing I would definitely do it again especially over different parts of Australia or like if I was in another country or something and that wasn't like an opportunity that I could do I would 100% do it again the one that we did was over the Gold Coast hinterlands I think they wanted to do it over the actual like coastline and over the beach but it was too windy and they said it's like often too windy to go over the coast which makes sense but it was still absolutely stunning it honestly made me want to do so many other things like I was talking to some of the other people who were obviously on the hot air balloon and so many of them had done other things like one of the ladies had been skydiving a few times and one of the guys had been like on a bunch of helicopter rides and I was like asking them about it and it was just so cool to chat to all of these people who have done all these cool things I just loved it. And after we landed, the balloon obviously has to be deflated. So it kind of just like falls onto the ground, but it's still full of air for the most part. And it deflates like kind of slow. And so they said to us, if you want to go walk around inside the balloon, you can. So obviously we did that and it was so cool because they are so much larger than you would expect them to be. And it felt like I was like in the middle of a jumping castle or something. It was such a cool experience. That was like just as cool as the actual hot air balloon <laughs> ride to me. And then we all got to help like deflate it. And so the the guy literally told me to go dive onto it to help get the air out and that was really fun. I definitely recommend it, obviously. But yeah, my mom and I both really enjoyed that. They also give you like a breakfast voucher to the Sheraton Hotel on the Gold Coast. It, I think it's at Main Beach. It's like a buffet breakfast. It was absolutely amazing. It made me want to go stay at the Sheraton because that place was stunning. I already looked it up. It is kind of expensive, but I think it would be fun for like a anniversary or a birthday trip or something. It was just so beautiful and I love buffet breakfasts and then we just drove home I got home at like lunchtime 
Saturday and I was <laughs> so exhausted. So I spent just the rest of the day hanging out, chilling, spending time with Liam. And that was my day yesterday. And then today, you guys have seen what I got up to. It has just been such a hectic week compared to my normal weeks. Usually I do like a little bit of computer work every single day, but because last week was so busy with like random things, I just had like three full computer days and then every other day when I wasn't at the computer I was out doing something at an event or at the coast or like somewhere which was really fun but I just felt so out of whack all week and I'm pretty sure I have like no plans for next week which is really nice. I'll probably make some plans but like as of right now I'm just like not walking into a busy week. I'm walking into a pretty slow week which just <laughs> seems so nice. I love having a slow week after having a busy week but I also love having a busy week after having a slow week because I feel like you just get to really appreciate both of the types of weeks that you have whereas if you're constantly having slow weeks or constantly having busy weeks you just don't appreciate either of them but yeah today is just a really chill day I'm just kind of getting on top of things obviously unpacking from yesterday because I didn't do that yesterday even though I had so much time I was just literally exhausted all day and then we have church this afternoon and that's gonna be pretty much the rest of our day but there's your little life update I guess I have been loving my new office setup and like having my desk rearranged to be in front of the window, which I think I showed you guys in one of my last vlogs. You know when you're a kid and you move your room around and it just feels so exciting? That's just how I feel about my office now that it's rearranged. It just feels like a brand new space. I don't like change, but I like this kind of change. Let's have a look at our to-do list for today. I put my clothes away. I unpacked my bag. I wanted to do a load of washing, but I came home from breakfast and Liam had already done it and hung it out. So. We can tick it off even though I didn't really do it technically. I also wanted to buy the next Shatter Me book because when I was out for breakfast, I was like, oh, I'll just like drop by the shops on the way home. I pulled into the shopping center, saw how full the car park was and I was like, I am not dealing with that. I totally forgot how busy the shops are on a Sunday, which makes sense. It's the weekend, but I, don't, I just didn't want to deal with that. So I'll probably go sometime in the next few days and get it instead. I also wanted to go grocery shopping today, but again, it's gonna be so freaking busy and I just don't wanna deal with that today. So I don't think we're gonna do that today. And that's kind of actually all I really had to do, which is phenomenal. I don't know if I have any emails to be doing. Today should not be a work day, but. Sabo Skirt sent me a follow-up email to make sure I received my order. Well, yeah, I did. How interesting. Do they always do that? I've never ordered from them before. I don't really have any emails to do right now anyway, so that's good. I also spent some time yesterday planning out my next month. Guys, September is gonna be such a slow month and I'm so excited about it. I feel like the last few months have been busy in a good way and I've really enjoyed the busyness that the last few months have been. I've done lots of trips and lots of weekends away and again, so, so fun, but I'm excited to have no trips planned. <laughs> I've realized after doing a lot of trips over the last few months that although I do enjoy them, I am truly a homebody at heart and I just love nothing more than being in routine, being home, being able to have some chill days where I have nothing planned and so I need to make sure that I'm prioritizing just like time to myself I guess introvert recharge time and also just prioritizing a routine because obviously I'm sure you'll know if you go on trips all the time if you're traveling not that I travel very far <laughs> I feel like some people are like I travel all the time and they're like literally international they're like in the US one week in Europe the next week that is not what I'm really referring to so I can't relate to like jet lag and stuff but even doing like weekends away often really gets you out of your routine like even just trying to get back into healthy eating, meal planning, meal prepping, going to the gym. I just haven't haven't been doing very well with that in the last couple months. So I think September is my month, guys. <laughs> I heard someone say the other day, they're like, I hate it when people say back on track because the people who use that term are the people who are like getting back on track every two weeks. And I'm like, I'm guilty. I am, I am that person who's like, I'm getting back on track this week. And I say I'm doing that every probably month, but I want to get back on track this month. So that'll be fun. I also planned out some videos for next month, which will be really fun. Like some book videos. That I, I don't like plan out my weekly vlogs or like my vlogs in general, but I, I plan out my, my book videos. Guys, I have also done so much reading in this past month and you guys will see my reading wrap up as my next video, my monthly reading wrap up. Well, let me show you the, the pile of books that I have going for this month. It's been a record month for me. This is my wrap up stack. So I've read all of these books this month, plus a couple on my Kindle, which is insane. Don't know what on earth happened to me to be able to do that. This one, actually, I lied. <laughs> this one I haven't finished yet, but I think I'll literally finish it today because I do not have le much left of it. Hmm, not sure if I want to share my thoughts about it yet because <laughs> I don't really know how I feel. I don't hate it. 
I just don't think it should be as hyped up as it is. <laughs> and then the other book that I'm reading, because you guys know that I'm constantly reading a million books at once, Bunny by Mona Award. And I'm hopefully going to finish this before the month is up so that I can talk about it in my next monthly reading wrap up. But I'm not going to try and rush it because it's one of those books that I think you do need to read really slowly. But I don't know what the heck is going on in this book. I literally just finished part one, so I'm about to start part two. But I'm hella confused. And I've heard people say that part two is just like a total fever dream. So... <laughs> I'm interested, but I'm just like, <laughs> what is going on? I really feel like I'm FaceTiming you guys right now, just like, just having a chat. I should probably eat some lunch. I just realized it's 2 p.m. I had a big breakfast, but I think I should eat something for lunch. packages. I thought it would be fun to open them with you guys. I got them earlier this week and I don't know why I haven't opened them yet. This one's from Crop Shop Boutique. I have one set from them currently and honestly I wear it a lot, especially the top. I know they are so popular. I don't know if it's everywhere. Definitely in Queensland. I just like it's everywhere, especially on the Gold Coast. Unfortunately, it is worth the hype. <laughs> they recently restocked their like staple colors. So I got two new sports bras. I wear a size small, so I got this one. I feel like this is the most iconic crop shop boutique style. This is really similar to the other one that I have. It's slightly different, but same kind of concept, just like this V-neck kind of crossover top. But the other one that I have is a, like a slate gray charcoal kind of color. And it's just so freaking comfortable. And so I just wanted a plain white one. And this one has just like two thicker straps along the back. Just so simple and like literally goes with everything. And the other one I got is also in white and it's a style that I haven't tried from them, but I've been wanting to try it for so long. And it's this one here. That's just like the basic shape. Very simple again, but spaghetti straps this time. And it has some little like crossover straps at the back. It's really like dainty along the back. Oh, that's actually a great way to show you guys. <laughs> I think it just looks so nice, especially on like an upper body, shoulder or back day. And this one, I actually don't know what this is, but I think I do. It just doesn't say anywhere on it what it, what it actually is. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> they've sent the wrong thing. You're joking. Okay, dang it. Okay, well, they've sent two of the right ones and then one of the wrong ones. But this is what it is. This is a t-shirt. From what we said, you guys know what we said is like my favorite podcast ever. It's JC and Chelsea. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. I've been listening to it for years. I've like literally never missed an episode because I'm obsessed. And they've come out with merch multiple times and I've just never been able to justify it because it costs a lot of money to ship it to Australia. But recently I got Georgia and Soph hooked on this podcast. And then literally a month and a half ago, we were away and they came out with new merch and I said I wanted to get some and then they said they wanted to get some. So we're like, well, let's do an order to together because then shipping works out a little bit cheaper not much but a little bit so we made an order it took over a month to get here which kind of sucks i do understand that it's international so it was gonna take a while but they've sent the wrong thing i'm pretty sure that's so annoying we all ordered pink ones and they have sent two pink ones one blue one and i don't even know if it's the right size that's so annoying i'm gonna have to email them and see what they say i just got ready for church because we're leaving in like two minutes <laughs> Did I just change my outfit? Yes, did I need to? No, why did I change it? I don't know. My brain just told me I needed to. I was in Byron last Sunday, so I haven't seen my church friends in like two weeks. So I'm really excited to see them. I'm just wearing a sweater and jeans. My jeans are white fox, but I just like cut them myself. And then my sweater is Princess Polly from last winter, but it's the softest material I've ever felt in my life and I love it. <laughs>
Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. You guys saw that I went shopping, did our groceries, but I also popped into Big W and Priceline. And I thought it'd be fun to show you what I got. And I also just got a few packages like in the mail when I got home. So from Priceline, the reason why I went in is because I needed some more niacin niacinamide. It's just a serum from The Ordinary that I use every single day. And I absolutely love it. I also use a hyaluronic acid every single day, but I'm not running out of that one. And then I also did get sucked into a couple more things. The Ordinary also came out with hair care and I'm so intrigued by it. I picked up the Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA, which just says a lightweight hydrating serum for the scalp. And it says if you put it on before bedtime every night onto dry hair, it says it will support the natural maintenance of scalp hydration to promote scalp to promote scalps to promote scalp I can't say that word now. My brain has like looked at it too many times. To promote scalp health, relieve discomfort and target dryness. So I do get oily hair after I haven't washed it for a few days as everyone does but I also just have a really dry scalp. So I don't really know how that works. Maybe it's like combination or something. I don't really know that much about hair, but I'm just so intrigued by this. So I'm gonna try it out and see if I can moisturize my scalp with this. We will see. If you guys have any tips for dry scalps, I'd love to know. Always looking to try new things. I think I've got like a good shampoo for my hair. So I'm just like so confused why I get dry scalps and it's not all the time, just like sometimes. And then I also picked up a new sunscreen and I got influenced. Sofa Dofa on TikTok was talking about this sunscreen the other day. Oh no, it was on her Instagram actually. I lied. She was talking about it on her Instagram just saying how much she loves SPF and how much she just like convinces everyone in her life to use their SPF. And I've been slacking recently, which is not good because we know how good SPF is for you. But a lot of people must have messaged her and be like, well, what SPF do you use? And she put a photo up of two, but one of them was this one. And it's just one from Bondi Sands, very simple and basic, very affordable. I literally screenshot her story because I was like, I am going to go buy that next time I'm at the shops. But she said, this makes you look really glowy and your makeup sits on top of it really well. And that has been my issue with a few of the sunscreens that I have tried. My makeup just doesn't sit well on top of it. So I'm very excited to try that out and see it for myself. And then I also went into Big W and picked up the last two books in the Shadow Me series, which I mentioned yesterday I wanted to pick up. So I've got Imagine Me and Believe Me. Imagine Me is book six and Believe Me is 6.5. So it's a novella. I still have to read Defy Me actually. So I've got Defy Me, another novella which I forget the name of, which I already own, this one and this one. So I'm halfway through the series and I'm planning to finish it in September. So I wanted to pick up the last two books. I really like this one actually. I know a lot of people don't like these covers. I think they're kind of fun. They're not like my favorite ever, but they're kind of cool. And then we have some packages. These are both PR, but I love watching people open packages. So I thought I would show you guys these ones. This one is from Ana Luisa. And I have worn Ana Luisa stuff for years at this point. And I'm a sucker for jewelry. I really, really am. Ooh, I don't know if they've sent me the right one. Cause my card says, hi Molly. I'm not Molly, am I? So we'll see what we have here. Cause they let me pick out a few things, but these might not be what I picked out if this package is not for me. Oh no, I think these are mine. <gasps> Amazing. So I got this, which is the Paisley ring. Very dainty and simple. How nice is that? Just got a little like gemstone at the front. That's so beautiful, I love. And everything you get from Anna Louisa comes in a cute little pouch. And then the other thing I got, yes, stunning, are these little sleepers with pearls on them, little earrings. I love wearing pearls, but the only ones I have are quite, I wanna say fancy, but I feel like they're for nicer outfits. So these are kind of like everyday pearls that I can wear, which is so fun. And then this other one is from Petal and Puff. They've just launched a new collection. I think it's available now. Oh my gosh. I have one of these totes and I use it as my gym bag every day because I got another PR package from them a year ago in this exact same bag or like obviously another version of it. And I've used it for so long that it has a hole in the side of it. So I'm so happy to have a new little Petal and Puff tote. I think they're just a really good quality tote. So look how crazy fun these prints are. Okay, so we have this one, which is a dress. I feel like I could wear this to like a wedding or something, but it's kind of got that like tie detail in the middle of it. So it almost looks like a two piece set, but it's joined and it goes pretty much all the way to the floor, I think. And it's got a little split on the side. And then I also got this little matching set. So it's a little shirt and shorts. And I feel like I could probably, at least I'm hoping, I can kind of dress this up or dress it down. Cause like imagine just wearing them to the beach with a cute little swimsuit, so comfy and flowy. And then this is the top. It's like a little 
button up so you can just like tuck it into the shorts and wear it as a matching set or you can wear them separately obviously and I got this one in an extra small but I just feel like you could wear them together with like a pair of heels and dress it up with some jewelry and a cute bag and you could like wear it out for dinner or something but then you could also yeah like wear it to the beach as a beach cover up or something and I love that we love a versatile piece hi Rachel introducing our newest exclusive collection with runaway the label channel your out of office vibes with this summer inspired collection travel 20 discount code is available for 20% off site wide so your followers can reap the rewards so if you guys want to purchase anything from pedal and pop you can use the code travel 20 which is amazing love the pmp team i'm having a bit of a makeup free day slick hair back day <laughs> because i've spent most of the morning at the computer and i think i'm going to spend the rest of the day at my computer as well but i hope you guys enjoyed spending the last couple days with me i kind of have been enjoying switching it up and doing like daily vlogs every now and then this one was supposed to be a weekly vlog but it just didn't happen did it i do really enjoy just like being able to chat with you guys a little bit more i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you so much and i will see you in my next one very soon goodbye